Hi guys, you here with Olivier, and today we'll be talking about school system. Uh, my name is Deluxe, aka AKAYC. My name is uh, Avery. Alright, I go to Burlington High School, I'm a senior. Uh, I go to Macy's and I'm a senior too. Center Point School and I'm a senior. Alright, first question that we're going to discuss about, my first question is, what do you guys don't like about your school? Okay, you go first. Um, <clears throat> right now, it's just really, really, like, understaffed. Uh, I have, and no one, including, like, a majority of the staff even really know what happened. Um, just, it went from having two buildings and including students and staff, like 70 total, to, I want to say, including students and staff total, I want to say, like, 27 now and uh, only one building. Um, and it seems like every few weeks there's like one of those like few staff leaving. So it's now to a point where like if one staff is out sick, that kind of destroys that entire class. And it's kind of like, uh, I guess we're playing Kahoot for the next hour, which sounds fun. But when I also want to like, you know, actually learn and graduate and like, you know, have the credits and stuff in order to do that, um, it makes it more difficult. Um, that's what I'd say currently. It also just sucks because it kind of makes it hard to grow connections with those staff because I had a lot of staff from last year that uh, I was really close with. Just like some I had like a bit of warning for leaving, a majority of which I didn't. Um, and uh, even like this Tuesday, a staff I just started getting close to was like, hey, I'm leaving Friday. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I'd say. Currently, it's really understaffed and a lot changed. Um, yeah. Yeah, for me, I want to say I hate everything, but I don't want to say everything because everything includes everything. But the food over there at Macy's is really trash. And the elevators break down like almost every day, so we gotta like take the stairs and stuff. It's like we don't even got windows too. And other than that, I like the school. It's uh, pretty good. For me, I actually agree with what the Lucy said, but to add on that, it just going to school in Messi, it just doesn't feel like you're actually in school, like in the class. There's no window, no doors. And also, like, uh, sp you can hear other classes behind it, and it's like, too loud. It's, like, very hard to, lo to, to hear what the teacher is saying. Yeah, Macy's at this point is not even a school. It's just a, uh, I don't know what to call it, but it's not a school. Yeah, we need a new school. <laughs> All right, second question that I had is, do you guys feel like uh, our school does a good job, like, getting tutors for students or, like, getting us with, like, homework help? Do you guys think that they do a good job at that, or? No, the homework part, no, because teachers don't even follow up. We don't have tutors. Some some kids got tutors, but not everybody got tutors. And if you want a tutor, you got to find yourself one, because if you don't find yourself one, you're probably going to fail, and then they're going to make you do the makeup work and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I also agree with Deleuze on that one again. I feel like uh, the teachers are nice, but when they give us homework, they sp like us to do that by ourselves and like finding tutors too it's so hard like for students like us sometimes we don't know who to go get help from so like, i feel like we need help with that you got anything to say on that um for me that's kind of a strange one to answer because my school doesn't have homework besides like you know like sending the occasional email or something um as for like just like getting help with work or like tutoring, I would say like they're doing the best they can because, you know, including like teachers and like this includes like teachers and like, you know, like the like administrative staff, like the non-teachers. It's like nine staff total right now. So kind of doing the best they can, but like it, it's tough and I like totally understand that and like feel bad. Um, yeah, like, uh, even on, like, 
Tuesdays and Fridays, I think I actually have like one block completely to myself just because like it's, they're like so stretched thin. So you're telling me you guys do everything in class and finish in class or do you guys not do any work? Um, I'm kind of confused. Like, like what, what, you say you don't got homework. I mean, a, a, almost every school that I know of got homework, at least something to do at home. Um, yeah, they just don't do homework. Ooh, actually, I actually have a good question on that one. We actually, I actually heard that even some middle school don't get homework. What you guys thoughts on like uh, school you not know, giving homework or homework? Do you guys think like they should be giving student homework or not? No, they shouldn't get, be giving no, students homework. Cause after school it's time for you to uh, to have fun, be you. You're not because you've been in school for like nine hours and you're stressed. Mm. You don't wanna you don't wanna like stress more about it. That's why a lot of kids don't like school because they don't wanna deal with the homework after schools. Cause at the end of the day you're just stressing yourself. Mm. And then some kids attempt to get mental issues and stuff. But what do you think? Yeah, since you don't got homework at all. Um. Yeah, I would definitely agree that uh, the past two schools I've been at, both uh, alternative schools, um, didn't do homework, and I'd say that definitely benefited me because uh, <coughs> before, when I was in like you know public school, um, half the homework like I'd go to my mom and be like, uh, "Can you help me with this?" She'd take one look and be like, "What the hell is this?" <laughs> Or it's like, I remember like someone like assuming you had like the most random materials in your house that like no one would just casually have. Mm. So you just couldn't do it. Um, and they just wouldn't help you and just be like, well, not done. Uh, so yeah, I would either say like, no homework I see more is like a benefit or if there is homework, um, shout out to our, uh, <laughs> what would be his title like group leader uh travis not doing it for like more than like half an hour um that way you don't like stress yourself out and get like really like psyched down like ah yeah for real but i should agree both of you guys with the homework part especially like when they give us homework and they don't even give us a, enough support we like tutor to help us with the homework and they expect us to finish all that by ourselves uh do you, any of you guys have like another question to ask? Yeah, uh, so about the about the homework part, uh, so you've never had homework, like, your whole entire school career, because I know you better graduate. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I've absolutely had uh, homework, um, so I was in public school until... I want to say like eighth grade. Um, so up until then, I had homework, and then when I switched to, um, I believe it was Jean Garvin School. Uh, then that's when I like, stopped having homework, and then the school that currently doesn't do homework either. So, yeah. oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Also, have another uh, another question that I have like, do you guys feel like? Uh, us as a students, like they include us more, like making decision in school stuff. Uh, I don't, I don't have any comment because I've never been included in anything. I would say, uh, um, from what I've seen, it definitely benefits of like student feedback. Uh, I know last quarter from high school, so like Wednesdays, it's like. Uh, half day it ends at like 12 45 or whatever and it's not really a work day it's like you just have various like groups like you know you go to the gym or like play games for the first part and then like do art or like play D D or something like that for the last half um and i don't know if it still exists but last quarter they ha uh one of the electives they're called is uh was a student council where just like a group of students who get together and like organize events like uh you know go to the park and like have like kind of like a pizza party thing and like get lawn games out and stuff or like watch uh Coraline and uh, Napoleon Dynamite for Halloween or stuff like that while also discussing like you know issues in the school what needs fixing blah blah and it definitely uh benefited I 
Yeah, I'll have to find out if it still exists, but yeah. Yeah, so, because uh, I heard we're getting a new building at the, we're getting like a new BHS building. Yep. What are your thoughts, uh, niggas? Like, you said that old one. What do you think? How is it, how do you think it's gonna look? But, uh, for what I saw, I think it'll look good, but like, I just don't understand how like they're gonna build at the same place that they just about to break the the old building. And also, I feel like building a new building, I support the idea, especially going to Messi. That school is not it. Do you think they're really gonna build the new building? Cause downtown, uh, the the mall, got, like the building, the broken building, they said Ooh, they're gonna I, build I in 2020. Yes, the whatever, the construction place down there. They said they're gonna build in 2020. You saw that, you know, you know what I'm talking about? I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, but I think they're actually gonna build it because I heard that they already just they said made, they said just 20 they it, said yeah. 2020 they're gonna stay building it. We're in 2022 now, so you, you think the VHS is gonna be like that too? Uh, I think they're gonna build it. Did you guys? I heard that they just vote yes to actually build it in like 2026. Um, yeah, but like wait, build it in 2026. No, no, like that's when you're gonna be finished. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> What's 2026. Your Hmm? What are your thoughts? Like, you think they're gonna build, actually build the the new school, or are they just like bluffing? Honestly, I could really see it going either way. Um, like, part of me wants to believe it'll get done, but then seeing how a bunch of other construction projects have yeah, because there's I also um, I also heard it's like very expensive too. Yeah, because uh, the, yeah. from what I heard. Uh, to rent Macy's, yeah. they're paying a couple millions yeah. dollars. That's a lot of money. Oh my God. That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. Money, yeah. that's, I and and I heard they have the school, they have Macy's for like four years. Yeah. So I don't know if they're going to extend it for longer, like eight years, probably more. Uh, how long have they been in Macy's so far? It's going to be the second year. Yeah, second year. I actually Not, haven't like seen the inside or anything. I've just like heard that the school is in the Macy's. <laughs> Well, you should you should come and visit. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to definitely like, take a look sometime yeah. to see what it looks like. Downtown BHS. That's yeah. uh this is so off topic, so I'll keep it brief, but uh, that's where I got one of my mannequins, like a full body like mannequin for like five dollars and Macy's is closing down. Oh, <laughs> and they just right. threw in like a bucket of like spare arms. It looked so strange. So uh, for the schools you guys go to, what would you like to change? Like, what do you want? What do you want to change about the school or the building? Do you want to go first? Uh, I, I can go first. Uh, definitely, like, but you, you, you definitely agree with me on this one. The food, like, messy food is just, like, it's not good food. And also, like, uh, some students like me, when you don't eat good, it's kind of hard to learn. But I would, I would definitely say food. We need hot food. Yeah, nice food. Hot food, yeah. chicken, fried rice, and all that yeah. type of stuff. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, you. Hmm. That one's kind of tough to answer because, like, I have the answer, which is like, hmm. you know, more um, staff so not like stretched so thin, but it's also like. I don't know the best way to say it. They need to be like the right staff. If that makes sense. Mm. Um, the right staff. Because like. definitely one of the things I like loved. Uh, I started going to Center Point in uh, 2020 when it was still during like online classes. You know, like peak pandemic uh, time. Um, and like eventually, once that was all like fine, we started going in person. Um, so I've been there for almost three years, and definitely the most like uh, highlight of yeah for me, I would like to lose I, I would like to to lose like the IDs because right now in in my school oh, if true. you go if you go in you, they gotta like check your ID you gotta, like like show them huh. ID of your face. And a lot of students don't keep IDs on them because a lot of them don't take the bus unless you do take the bus. Then you gotta keep it with you. Bro, and also I heard but that if you don't have it, you if get you lose it, you have to pay five dollars yeah, 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 yeah. to get the you ID. You get charged back. every time you you're in there if you don't got oh, an ID. Yes, which which I think is really stupid because there is a main office. You can just go there, uh, like 
they can search up your name. You don't need an ID. Yeah, and they can see the picture uh-huh. of yourself too. Or yeah. they can see you like. All right, the next question that I had is like, do you guys feel like the school counselor are very helpful? Um, me personally, uh, yeah, uh, I would say so we get along really well. She's also my, uh, case manager, um, and yeah, we get along well, and she definitely, like, does everything within her power, uh, to help out, um, and lately we've been having kind of, like, uh, effectively like uh therapy sessions every like tuesday for like the first block of class just because i'm on a wait list to see a therapist through the school but it's taking months because uh but yeah so i would say she's really helped me personally yeah i'm not i'm not gonna lie but i think my school counselor is uh lazy he don't follow up with these uh people because if he wasn't lazy he would be following up with me but me i go I go check up, I go check up on him, but sometimes he's not in his office. He's, he's like wandering around the building. So I don't want to sit there, helping us. But at the same time, it is what it is. Uh, uh, for me, I kind of agree what you say, but also I think I'm trying to. I, I was trying to add that. I don't think it's like very lazy, but also like it's only like one council, the same council with no. twenty students. No, so like, but I feel like we have like, more councils. I feel like we have we have more councils like. Four, I, I think, and yeah, then for every like, student, so. yeah, but still, they're there for like every nine hours. Yeah, but probably more. Than we that. should we should definitely get more counselors. I feel like there's a lot of students. But yeah, for me, I've said they, yeah, they're helpful sometimes. Do you have any question? Um, um Yes, but uh, first before we do that, I just want to like clarify one thing, I guess. Uh, so, the stuff I was talking about. So my school doesn't have like a designated like counselor, if that makes sense. She's more just like you know a person you can like go and talk to. So like effectively a counselor, but that's not like her role, you know. Um, we don't have that. We should have something like that. Yeah. Sorry, what I missed you. Oh. Um, I was just saying that the staff I was talking about, yeah, um, <clears throat> like her role isn't like as a counselor. She's more just like a person you can go and like sure. talk to and like effectively is a counselor. But that's not like her job role. Or, like it's not like okay, you can go talk to the counselor. I'm just like that's like a set room, you know. So she oh, just okay. so she just basically there for you like any time you need somebody to go talk to. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. She's you, available. Right. You can talk that's to. That's what her. we need. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's very, uh, chill, um, and I've definitely, like, realized that more, because, uh, a thing that was kind of, like, drilled into my head while I was in public school was just to act like you're fine and don't ask for, like, help or anything to make it easier, so, like, really only this year, like, my last year in school, I've kind of, like, realized, hey, it's okay to, like, ask for accommodations or whatever especially at this school because that's literally what it is designed for so like uh lately i've been dealing with like a lot of like stress issues in my head and stuff i the sunglasses because like bright lights are bothering me um they've allowed that uh they allow me like during lunch or whatever they have like a dark room there which is super sick i love photography um but uh it's also very dark and like quiet in there so i can just go in there and like chill um be on my phone and whatever for the entirety of lunch um so yeah do, do you know how many students are in your school like um all together the exact amount i don't know though if i had to guess i would say like 15 20. what the that's nice the whole school, school? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah we go to school like 1,000 students. I will say it is like a super like small three. building, though. 3,000, probably. <laughs> that's a lot of, yeah. That's... All right, next question. But I feel like what you said about, like, uh, how you learned that, it's okay to ask questions. Do you, f- do you guys feel like the school 
I actually kind of like they pay attention to make sure like uh, how students are feeling, like to check in with us. Uh, I feel like that used to be back in our old days, but like nowadays everybody's minding their own business and they're trying to put up stuff. Like they don't, they don't understand that we're teenagers. They're trying to bring back like what they think is good for us, not what's actually good for us. But also, we we got we got new new people at our school, so they're still learning and working with the flow, so that too. Um, I would say they're doing the best they can to try to help everyone. Um, yeah, it feels kind of tedious, like bringing the same point over and over and over. But uh, yeah, low numbers of staff, so only so much that they can do. But uh. When they are able to help, um, they it, it truly shows they like actually care about what they're doing. It's not just like, okay, this is my job. I have to do this. They actually like to be blunt, give a shit. Hmm. I agree with you. Yeah. Nah, that's actually pretty good because then you can tell who's who actually like who actually does their jobs. Comparing to us, we got like a millions of teachers, and some some are doing doing it because it's their jobs, and some are actually like helping you and stuff. Yeah, exactly. That's crazy. You got any question that you wanna ask? Hmm. I'm trying to think of like one that isn't like echoing a question already brought up, you know? Uh, to yeah. get down. Also, shout out to my Japanese biscuit. <laughs> she's nice. But I, I'm going to try it after. Yeah, she's nice. I have to try that. Yeah. I'm also probably going to try it. Not sponsored. Yeah, not, not, <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> okay. Um... <clears throat> okay. What would you say is, was, like, your favorite memory in school ever? Uh, <clears throat> making music, making music, blasting out loud. My favorite memory, like in school or just like with that school group? Or like? Um, mainly in school, but uh, school group too. Ah, uh, in school, I probably say just like, yeah, just chilling with my friends during lunch. I feel like yeah, it's nice. We talk a lot about like how the day's going. Yeah, nice. All right, I have another question. Do you guys feel like that we have enough after school program for every student to attend or do you feel like we should get more after school activities? Yeah, we should get like some more fun after school activities because every year it's the same. And then like different culture. Yeah, different. Right? Cu <laughs> yeah, we need to get like some some other stuff. Cause some some people don't know how to do whatever you guys have every year, mm. so different different things. Uh, my school doesn't have any like after school stuff, so I can't exactly answer that. The closest I could do is they do like a summer program where it's like kind of sort of like yeah. education based, but like. To be honest, it's just like six weeks of you just play games and like go to the beach or whatever. I'm not even gonna lie, like six coming weeks. from like a 17 year old, it was super fun. <laughs> Wait, um, you said that your school don't have them, but would you like your school to have like after school activities? Um, honestly, I don't know. Um, I'm not saying no. That's my answer. <laughs> uh, uh, you have any questions? That's pretty cool. Question? So for your school, like, is it only like a high school or the, is it like everybody in there? Because I'm still confused where you say like it's about 20 people, like, yeah. they're still small. Um, oh, wait, is, is that like a private school? Technically, yes, I think, um, but not like a stereotypical like private school, like super fancy, like wearing suits and whatever. Yeah. Oh. Um, but by definition, technically, yes. Uh, so, what grades are are there? Like, um, 
I don't know the exact like min like minimum to max on that, but I know the youngest student there is fourteen, and the oldest is uh, tied between me and two other seniors who are eighteen. So yeah, mm-hmm. not this this sick. Anyways, uh, yeah. Okay, I have one, uh, another question. Do you guys feel like uh, that way teachers, do you guys like that way teachers commune with the parents when the students get in trouble or you guys don't like that way they, they do that? You can go first. Um, <clears throat> I can't exactly answer that for me because, and, and I'm not even saying this in a bragging way, just, I just don't get in trouble <laughs> really. Um, so that hasn't really been an issue as for like, you know, meetings like making like issues I've been having as whatever of like communication there has been well for the most part there have been sometimes where you know it effectively seems like they're ghosting you, but it's like, oh sorry, we're just really like uh busy or whatever, uh which I get. Um so that's been well. Um and I you know, we don't want to speak on behalf of, like, other students because I don't know, like, what's going on there. Uh, but seems good a majority of the time would be my answer for that. That's crazy. Yeah, also, uh, what do you guys think about the the time, like, like the time that school starts? What do you think? You want to change or keep it the way it is? Um, for me, school starts at, uh, like... Uh, 8.45, but it doesn't really, like, begin until 9.30, so you effectively have until 9.30 <laughs> to get there, um, which, uh, I would say is pretty good, yeah, and, uh, they definitely, like, do what they can to get you there as well, like, they have, like, vans or, like, a bus they can set you up with to get you, or attempt to, anyway. For me, our school just got changed to start at 9, so, like, I feel like, yeah, that's a good time. Nine is pretty. Yeah, nine is. is pretty good, but I feel like it should it should start at like nine fifteen because a lot of people. If you say nine o'clock, most of the people are gonna show up at nine twenty, nine thirty. Yeah, and that's yeah. that's been happening a lot. I've been I've been yeah, seeing students nine, like yeah. late to class, and I'm like, what? Yeah, that, nine is not that bad. We just got our, our schedule changed. Yeah. Nine o'clock. It's, it's never good to put something like on time, like nine o'clock. It should be like nine ten, nine fifteen, nine o five. Oh yeah, like so soon should be able to get school at nine mm-hmm. but class is still at nine fifteen. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's that's yeah. why I think I think they're like, Yeah, uh the day starts at eight forty five <laughs> but then like you just have forty five minutes of yeah, right? like, doing <laughs> nothing. It should be so. like the time you get there bro. Uh, Well that was a good That was a good talk. Yeah, thank you guys. A good time with y'all. Good stuff, man. Well, I hope y'all enjoy it. Shout out to my Japanese again. Man, it's fun.